Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 19th to the 25th of February 2024. So last week was a big week with Pluto meeting with Mars and then with Venus for a transmutation and a raising of consciousness of both the will and the heart. Shortly after Pluto's meeting with Mercury transforming our mind and raising our consciousness. So we've really gone through some incredibly powerful energies in the last few weeks. But with everything now in the signs from Aquarius to Taurus, I feel like we're in the springtime of the great year. We've gone through 16 years or more of deep Capricorn energy, which has all been about deconstruction and finding our core strength, not relying on the external and taking back our own authority and governance. So as we let these changes sink in, which will be purely felt on a cosmic vibrational level, not understood with the rational mind, then we have a gentler week this week, beginning with the sun moving into Pisces. Pisces is our cellular memory, our memory of past lives, what we've inherited through mitochondrial DNA, and our real in inner intelligence guidance system. So after the last few weeks, this comes in like a gentle rinsing, cleansing energy, and Mercury will also move into Pisces on the 24th, so we can turn our attention inwards to our sentient intelligence and our deep knowing. Pisces is a very soulful sign, last sign of the zodiac. We're looking back over the last year and getting ready to leap into the next one, light and fresh and buoyant. So a general rinsing energy, summing up everything that's happened, allowing us to let it go on the deepest levels, peeling off all the layers, shedding our skin really, and re-emerging, transformed. This week Venus meets with Mars. So they've both stepped into Aquarius, had a thorough once over by Pluto, and now meeting up to compare notes. So a cleansed will and a cleansed heart, ready to work together in the new and visionary age of Aquarius. And we've deconditioned our emotions, we've harnessed our ego and our will to do the heart's bidding. And as we're in the spring energies now, we can start to apply ourselves to what really matters to us. So the best way of looking at 2024 is what excites me, what feels meaningful and purposeful. The Capricorn era was attending to responsibilities and obligations and fitting in. But now, whatever we care most about and are excited most about, that's where we put our vital and invaluable life force energy with gratitude. And that will draw to us the opportunities to make our dreams come true. So know how we want to feel, know what we care about, know what matters to us and where we want to put our vital time and energy in the most uplifting and healing loop would be a better look at 2024 than the old way of thinking of plans in terms of career and achievement and long-term gain. So it's going to take a while for us to get used to this new way of being. And from September to November, Pluto will dip back into Capricorn for some final clearing up and to hand back the keys. So this year is primarily an adjustment, not having to know, not having to plan, but centering in the passion, the light in the middle of every cell and considering yourself from a soul level. What did I really come here for rather than the survival matrix? Of what's the best I can do within the system? And we approach the full moon in Virgo. That's five degrees if you want to find that in your chart. Sun in Pisces, moon in Virgo, and that's on the 24th just after midday in the UK. So Pisces and Virgo are very feminine signs. Water and earth to do with the planting and reaping cycle. And as we approach the full moon in Virgo, standing alone across the sky from all of the rest of the planets, then we can revisit our goals, what we're planting, what we're wanting to reap, where we're coming from, our mindset, our attitude to work, energy, health, being abundant, going with the cycles of nature, nurturing ourselves and a better mind-body connection. With Mercury also in Pisces, then as we're still cleansing, we've had most of the major transformations now, but as we're still in the cleansing phase, if the full moon in Virgo does bring something up from the cellular, the subconscious, anything that's been repressed inside of us as a distant memory or a feeling, then we can afford to let that happen. Observe whatever it is, find the meaning of it as part of our releasing and cleansing process. Next week the Sun will meet Saturn in Pisces, so that will really firm up our core strength and resolution, our trust in ourselves and our guidance firm up our intuition. So at this full moon, it's more about getting out of the habit 
of negative thinking or believing and behaving in a certain way, in the old way, hard working, things take effort, life has to be a struggle, those kind of things. Or being led by the mind and the head and the plans and the attachments. If we can just let all of that fall off and reset our compass from the soul self rather than the human story, then that meeting with Saturn next week will just bring everything into alignment as we kickstart this incredibly different year under a whole new set of rules. So mastery of our mind, our will and our emotions has been on the table for the last few weeks. And now, with all the Pisces energy and the full moon, we're letting go of the residue, what we used to be like, what we used to believe in, what we were told we should be like, giving ourselves permission to be the unique essence that we all are and to operate from our own centre and authority and see what that brings back to us as we transmit and receive on a higher and more aware level than really knowing what matters to you and what you love and how you like to feel is actually the starting point for any future plans. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available zoehind7 at gmail.com. I can help you work with these energies in your own chart, release any baggage, change perspective and align with your focus and purpose in this new environment. I record MP3 and use tarot as well and I teach astrology, tarot, numerology and more. So do email me if you'd like to do some personal study. Really make the most of these astrological energies that we'll only have once in this lifetime and start to feel a way forwards that's perfect for you. I have some meditations and practical applications that you can use at the right time to really shift the energy as well as your perspective. So a gentle Piscean week heading towards a full moon in Virgo, Mercury into Pisces and a short meeting of Venus and Mars to sum up the changes that happened last week all adds up to a more simple and cleansing feeling but a deep adjustment to who we are and where we're coming from which will pay great dividends in the rest of the year. So those are the horoscopes this week and I'll see you next week.